Yeah, okay. All right, so, like I just said, this is not a dirty shirt. That's just good food. It's in six packs. Oh, it's swimming. So I gotta hurry up. I gotta make an etouffee. We got the hamburger meat ready, so I gotta make hamburger as well. For tomorrow's lunch. We're opening up for lunch tomorrow. So you guys can't see my bald ass here. I'm live on YouTube over there. I'll fix all this later. I will. What I have. So. Making today is a smoked chicken and smoked sausage etouffee. My sausage is still a little frozen, so. I was in the water all day the other day, so my daughter was supposed to cut up all the vegetables for me, my Holy Trinity. She didn't do that. So, I'm gonna get in here and do it, I guess. my back so low tide today is at 4 17 so I gotta hurry and get all this done because I gotta go in the water at 4 o'clock and when low tide hits I'll have an hour before the uh, before the uh, water the tide starts moving right so I'm going in for a small uh, shellfish like this called a tiraja. So I'm, I got to get probably a thousand, probably a thousand tiraja to get a cup. Because once you, we, then we got to bring them home and boil them. So when we boil them, then we got to take a, a toothpick or a knife pick or, or even a little, a little nose pitcher and pull them out. It's just a little piece of meat. So to get a kilo of that, it's going to take about a thousand tiraja. And that's gonna be about 30 bucks. So I gotta get that. And then come back here, boil that, do all that, and then get ready because I gotta go back in the water tonight. Um probably around nine or ten o'clock is when high tide is gonna hit. Now, the part I'm going in, I need to go in at high tide. So I'll be doing that today as soon as I get done making my Etouffee. Jeez, man, I'm a poet and didn't know it. You can go do the celery. I'm doing the Holy Trinity of Pima and um, Tamanegi. Pima, uh, bell pepper and onion. You can go do the celery for me. I wish you'd bring my damn coffee. I'd really love to have a cup of coffee. Hold your ears, guys. <laughs> that was lousy. Please. He made coffee. So, guys, I'm going to be moving this camera around all over the place. So, please forgive me. You guys, stick you guys up there where you're watching my big bald head. I'll put you over here. There we go. Now you are my big ball, my big, big stomach. All right. So now we got you over there. I'll edit all this off later. Maybe. So. Oh man. Let's do the onions first, all right here. Drop them all over the damn floor. Normally I'm making that too fake with you guys live. Everything's already prepped. Today nothing's prepped. We will make it from the start. I'm only gonna do the first time. My etouffee is different because when I learn how to make something, I always 
the life going in and out. Yeah. Facebook for you. You guys want to watch live? The YouTube's working, so we're doing live on YouTube as well. So if Facebook keeps going out. Just go over to YouTube and watch. And that would help me out anyway, because I need to watch time. I'm trying to get the damn channel to blow up. Is We had a few guests last night. Family from New York and a family from um, Hiroshima. Really cool people. We got a reservation for tomorrow's lunch. Nothing yet for the weekend for the night time. Get me now. Damn onions. Oh, the onions got me. The onions got me good. Anybody watching on YouTube, please leave thumbs up and comments. Say hi. Help me out. Really need your help. Why I bought the yellow bell pepper? Uh, it's a fake case. I wanted to make it colorful, but I did yellow before and it didn't work. The yellow, you can't see them. The red bell pepper and the green bell pepper, you can see. Them. I don't know why the yellow don't show up. Seemed like it would look pretty. Oh man, the money's really got my eyes. I don't think I washed the pepper on the last one, but they would. I cut it clean, there was no seeds in it. Washed them all before. But this one I didn't cut that clean so it had no seeds in it. smaller so we can see it all up here. My kitchen is very, very small but I can do a lot of cool things with, I can do a lot more than a big kitchen, but 
stupid. <laughs> Hold on, my son, y'all. I think somebody see that. Hey, what's going on? Sorry, didn't ignore him. I just, I just washed my bell pepper and then actually, instead of putting it in a bucket, I threw it in the trash can. <laughs> what's going on? Um. Don't ask me those questions, man. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think it just makes it look prettier, man. But actually, the green bell pepper has a stronger flavor, to me anyway, than the uh, yellow or the red. Uh, paprika is the red one. The yellow one. I think it's just make it look prettier. <laughs> Like I said, man, I ain't no chef. I'm self-taught, so I'm a really bad teacher, man. Oh, my God. That's the thing about it, man. Even in the ocean, most of what I'm doing, I'm self-taught. So I screw up a lot in that ocean, man. But uh, right before, uh, I did a video yesterday of uh, the catch I had the night before. You got time, go check it out. Leave a thumbs up for that. Give me a thumbs up here, man. I really need it. Come on. But, um, the, uh, the, uh, yesterday at the auction, the prices were really good yesterday, man. My octopus, I got a good price on my octopus. I had, uh, over 30 kilos, uh, 30 pounds. At fit, over 15, 15 and a half kilos. So I had over... 31, 32 pounds yesterday. Anybody saying hi here? Nope, nobody saying nothing there. Oh uh, yeah, y'all can see, y'all y'all see my big fat ass, but y'all can also see the, my my hands cutting over here. So now you're gonna make me Google that, huh? Thanks for the thumbs up. You're gonna make me Google that, see if what's the flavor difference. Oh my God, you got me, dude. Or do that, you only got TVs, I don't know. Octopus, <laughs> you like me. Is there an S on octopus? Uh, one of them was actually a nice size. I got, I went in, what today's day? Somebody help me. That's right. I think Monday I went in. Monday night, I got a nice one, man. But we call these Yakuza octopus. The reason we call them Yakuza octopus is Yakuza, when they screw up, they lose their finger, right? That thing right there. They lose their finger. And so, um, uh, so my octopus, if they live in bad areas, especially if they stay in shallow water during the summertime, they lose their legs in fights. Fights with another octopus. Uh, females actually eat their own legs when they're having their babies. They won't leave the house. They'll eat their own legs if they're hungry. Um, the more eels love octopus. So This, uh, the big one I got, it was five and a half kilos. But if it didn't lose their leg, if she, she lost or he lost, I think that was a male. He lost, he had like four whole legs and uh, four halves. So his legs were just going back. But if, he would have been over seven kilos. But the biggest octopus I ever got was eight and a half kilos. You can see that picture on Instagram. All right, so we're almost done. We're about to get this etouffee going. I made the rule a while back. The thing about the rule, I made about four rules at one time. And I just stick them in an the icebox and don't really use them. They don't go bad. Jeez, man. Ice off. Man. Hope my kids get all this shit ready. Yesterday, what I do is I go in for one day and I hit it, hit the ocean hard. I hit two to three hours in the daytime, 
And then night it hit anywhere from uh, three to four hours. And then the next day, man, I'm just recuperating after I take everything to the auction. All right, still so got a holy trinity. I'm still waiting for my son. Right there. So, oh, hey. Coffee break. Man, the clock's at 8.15. Needs new batteries. It's still ticking, but... It's 10 minutes to 11, man. All right. Uh, wrong knife. This thing can barely cut a damn belt. I need to drop it. Alright, so we get our sausage done and we'll start Start at etouffee. Now move the camera again. Sorry guys, keep moving y'all around. Sausage is still a little chill. That's alright. She had to go to the police station today and to the doctors. The cool thing about the doctors here is that they know me. I've been going to them for so long. I don't have to go and get my medicine. She just go in there with my card and they'll give her my medicine. She just go in there and tell them exactly what I need. And uh, come back with it and I can stay here and do my work and when she gets back then um, we'll eat lunch or brunch or whatever it is we don't eat breakfast so I like to eat a couple hours before I go in the water oh if anybody's watching that lives on an island we got Like I said the other day, my wife was making um, um, homemade jerk sauce, so she made that and we uh, marinated some uh, short ribs, uh, not short ribs, rib tips, and some boneless chicken thighs. We sold half of it already, so we still have some in the icebox we have. We sell them, um, the chicken we sell for two kilos. Marinated, not cooked, so you just come pick it up, homemade jerk sauce, marinate it, and you barbecue it with your friends. So we do most of the work for you, and you just got, I keep dropping damn sausage. So you uh, just barbecue it, and believe me, it's real good. So, uh, the, 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 the bonus chicken thighs, bonus chicken thighs, like I said, are two kilos, and they sell it for 25 bucks. And then the uh, rib tips, I have one two kilo bag, but if you don't want the whole two kilos, we can split the two kilos up and put it one kilo. So one kilo bag is 20 bucks. So if you have a lot of friends, just buy the two kilo bag. So just, that'll be 40 bucks. But like I said, it's well worth it because you're getting homemade sauce marinated. And, uh, Believe me, jerk sauce is not something easy to make. It took, it took my wife three and a half to four hours to make everything, to get it all together. So, all right, let's see. Um, move you guys over here so you don't have to look at my stomach. Um, now you can look at my stomach on the left side. <laughs> Pump it up. <laughs> One time. <laughs> Two times. This is for our smoked chicken sandwiches. Or we can use it for our jambalaya, or what I'm going to use it for today is my etouffee. My mind is freaking. 
Alright. I'm gonna use a smaller pot today. I hope it's okay. Um, I forgot, I gotta get soup. Oh shit, I can't listen to my pants. Yuki, come to me at the board, Chodai. Alright. Make sure I got everything before we get started. I wish I could put the camera over here where you guys can see when it's a, it's a computer. I got the camera over here. And then, and then, and then, and then. Okay, it's not working. There we go. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to take you guys and put you back up here. Hang tight. Hang tight. Hang tight. I don't know if anybody's watching. It doesn't say. But if you are, I hope I'm not getting you dizzy or sick. And let's put you, zoom in on the pot. There we go. I'll download this and edit it all to YouTube later. I, guess. I, don't know. I got one person watching. Hey, man. Ah. Yeah. Daytime, man, you see a lot more. But I mean, I load, especially in the water. Um, so my friend over here is asking, is do I catch more daytime or nighttime? Um, daytime you see a lot, but at low tide, if you go out at low tide, fish run from you more or swim from you more. They, they run away, swim away faster. Um, but if you go at uh, high tide on the reef, they don't, they don't scare so much. They, you know, you can't go up and pet them, but you can get close enough to get a shot. Um, and the one thing about it is it's like shooting a bow at, at a target. That's A target's moving, you're moving, and then the current in the middle of you is moving, so you got a wind factor. So even though you're aiming for the head, most of the time you're going to get the, the body, the stomach, and everything. So you get a really... Less price. Um, but I usually use the fish for the restaurant. Like last night we had, I guess, they, uh, they ate some pirate fish here. A sauteed butter and garlic. Lettuce and tomato. They're really, really good. So. Let's see. Get all this chicken opened up. So, at night time... If you're just sleeping, you can actually just take your knife and, and, and get them if they're just laying on top of a rock sleeping. Um, so the question is kind of uh, hard to answer because you might get a lot of fish during the daytime, but they're going to be smaller ones. And all the big ones don't come near you, and they're going to be bad shots. But nighttime, you might not get that many fish because fish do not sleep where they eat. So you'd be a a mess load of fish in this area, right? Eating. But you go there at nighttime, there's not one fish. They don't sleep where they eat. So you gotta find a bed. When you find a bed, there's one fish sleeping there, check around, because there's probably more fish sleeping around in that area. So you'll get bigger fish, cleaner shots, because they're not moving, and you get right up on them, right real close. And uh, you get a better price at nighttime. So you get less for more, in the daytime you get more for less. All right, let's get this puppy going. I got my soup. I know I'm forgetting something. Oh, that got dead, duh, see? Gotta get all my spices out. All right. Now I don't need garlic because the chicken has garlic in it. So my basil, my cayenne, just put a little cayenne in it. My paprika. Um, what is it? All seasoning. My thyme. Ah, and the one thing I always forget, bay leaves. Uh, my bay leaves out. I'm gonna see if I can turn this around a little bit. Ah, get all the air out of the bag. All right, let's see. Get my sauce. So 
I add a little something something to it. Get a little extra flavor. Um, let's see. Zoom in on my beauty. You can still see my ass. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, see the finger right there? Hi. Um, so Facebook is pointed right at the pot. You guys are just... Oh, man. I'm sorry, guys. This sucks. All right, let's get started. Oh, shit, I turned the gas on. I didn't light the fire. Well, I'm glad I didn't turn it all over the bottom one. <laughs> ah, stop it. I almost blew my pecker off. Man, that was close. All right. First thing we do, when this puppy gets hot, we add our Holy Trinity. We had that first. <laughs> yeah, boy. I do that at night. Since I got going to go water tonight, I can't drink. I told my wife when I drink and go in the water, I see more fish. <laughs> she didn't like that. There we go. All right. So now we add our holy trinity, right? We just stir this around. You hear that sizzling? Man, hang on, guys, hang on. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm still waiting for my celery. Oh. <laughs> I knew I was getting some. He's got most of it done. So I'm just gonna cut this real quick. Jeez, man. gives it a little bit of sweetness and everything we use in Louisiana has the whole trinity. I mean everything we cook in Louisiana has the whole trinity. Jambalaya, kubion, sauce, uh, gumbo, all of that. So, it's very colorful and beautiful. Here I'll show you guys real quick. See? Really nice. Alright, so we're gonna let this cook. Let's stir it around. I'm gonna get glossy, glossy, glossy. watching here on Facebook, you want to just bless this uh, house, go over to YouTube and watch us. It counts for us on YouTube, it doesn't really count for us on Facebook. Um, anybody, anybody join us? Don't worry about it. If 
five second rule. All right. Getting there, getting there. Just want to get the vegetables softened up a little bit. customers in a while so we ended up throwing away a gumbo uh, last week a six it was a nine heart six foot gumbo nine heart seafood gumbo it took me six weeks to make it man it broke my heart I don't like wasting food I think it was in back of the ice box where it's cold enough you know to where it'd be like chill not like ice box but refrigerator uh, not ice box and freezer like a chilled section, I figured it'd be all right. No. Nope. Damn crab and some shrimp cost a lot of money, man. So we're not gonna make any more gumbo for a while. Not until we get busy again. Or unless I have a big group coming in that's all gonna eat gumbo. Cool. Now, the vegetables are nice and glossy, and we're going to add in our roux. Come on, get out of there. What I'll probably do is take this video, this live, download it. What's the frown for? But, uh, I'll take the live, this one, and this one, and download them both and try to split them together. I'll find the time. All right. We'll add a little soup. Just to help that roux melt a little bit. Like I said, you make a roux. Make sure you go to the bathroom first. Ah, oh, yeah. And the thing about what I learned as a fisherman, we catch lobster, we catch some good fish and stuff like that, but we don't eat expensive stuff. We sell the expensive stuff and take the money and buy what we need. So instead of eating an expensive gumbo, I save that for the guests. But, I don't know. Ow! Guys, the steam. I never use this pot. I shouldn't have used this damn pot because it's too shallow. It's in my hands too close to the. So I'm burning my hand, all the steam. I usually use a deeper pot. Wow. Trying to get that through all done. All right. Let me get a wire real quick. Man, I go outside, I can't get my eyes fixed right away. It's bright out there. All right. There we go. All right, so that roux's all broken up. And before this starts boiling up, what I'm gonna do is start adding my spices. 
Had the babies first. Drink a cup of coffee. Paprika. It better be paprika, yeah. <laughs> it looked like cayenne, man. It scared me from that. Okay. Add some black pepper. I love black pepper. And just a little bit of cayenne. Stir this up first because I don't want to get all kicked up. Now when I add in the, the blah, 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 blah. when I add in the oregano, it's gonna look like a lot, but don't worry about it because at the end, all the oil from the, the meat and the roux come up to the top. I skim all that out. So I skim all the uh, flakes out as well, that comes out with it. I just want the flavor. I love a strong oregano flavor in my uh, etouffee. The all seasoning. Don't want it too salty, so just a little bit. Now, here's something you gotta be careful with, time. Time is really strong, so you just want a little bit. A little bit, that's it, that's it. All right. Stir this up, and it's starting to come up to a boil. Perfect timing. You don't want to put all your spices and herbs in when it's boiling up. Because when it's boiling up, all that steam coming up and getting into your spices and everything. All right, it's a little bit of sauce. That's it, guys. We're almost done with the first half, anyway. Now, when I get everything added in it. We're looking about two hours, hour and a half to two hours of cooking. Let it sit for an hour and a half to two hours. Come back, skim it. Um, get all the oil, excess oil out of it. And then I'm gonna add in the, uh, the parsley and the uh, green onion. I don't add the parsley and green onion until I skim it, then I'm just gonna skim all that out. That's why I wait until. If I didn't have to skim it out, I just add this parsley and green onion now, but that's it. Once I skim all the oil out and the parsley flakes, parsley, all right, oregano flakes, then I go ahead and add the green onion and the uh, parsley. And then I let that cook down for about 30 minutes. And then I do my thing. Then I do the thing that makes it mine. And I wouldn't mind showing everybody if I wasn't being copied all the time. Get places out here now that, that are learning Cajun food and they're learning what I'm doing. And all the people with money always steal ideas from poor people. You know, that's the way it goes. All the big companies, all the people with money, always get the ideas from uh, the original. It's like you, uh, you plant a flower, you have one flower in the garden. You have the original. But now it grows seeds, and all the other seeds start growing around it. And once they grow, then you can never tell which one was the original. So, that's what's happened to us. We've been doing this for 14 years, and now... The Cajun thing is blowing up all over and people with more money are making more really nice restaurants, really beautiful restaurants. And uh, we can't compete with that. So that's why we're going out of business and they get customers because they think, oh, this is the best Cajun food I've ever had. Oh, I didn't know Okinawa had Cajun food. Well, thanks a lot, Facebook. All the money I spent on Facebook advertising really sucks. And we're going to add our sausage. Wow. I hope this pie, this pie is going to be like, man, I thought it was the same. I know it's not as deep as the other one, but I thought it was whiter. 
Well, guys, I might have to transfer transfer over pots. Um, here, a little bit at a time. See where it's going to lead us. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right. Now, it's kind of full. I know you guys are watching this. It's kind of full. Don't worry about it. You stir it up a little now. And in a couple hours, this is going to cook down. All right. All right. So, I've got everything done here. Put on the sauce. So, this will start boiling up. What we do is put a lid on and put the spoon underneath it, like that. And once that boils up, I'll turn the fire down. So, it is. 12, 11, 20, 11, 20, so two thumbs up, thank you very much. I wish I get a 2,000 thumbs up. I get my monetization going. Um, so it's 11, 20, so probably about two o'clock, I'll skim it, add the onions and everything, and probably we're gonna probably leave here about three, because I gotta get in that ocean at four, so. We'll skim it, add the onions and the parsley into it, let it cook down for 30 minutes, turn the fire off, cover it up, and then um, tonight when we get back from the ocean, then we'll take it, put it in the uh, ice box, and tomorrow I'll take it out, heat it up, and I'll do my my uh, my thing to it. Um, what makes it my etouffee, I'll make it tomorrow. So, with that being said, nobody's been watching on Facebook, and they had the best. They had the best view. They had, they had the view over the pot, and you guys stayed with me. You had the best view of my ass. It's a nice one, I know, man. But you know, I'm sorry, guys. You know, I don't ask for much, but what I do ask for something. It's kind of like I shouldn't be asking for <laughs> I'm asking everybody to like my YouTube and blow it up and everything. And I'm showing you a picture of me with my back while I'm cooking. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. We got our boil. Come on, get all the way up there. Oh, it smells good. Oh, this. All right, let's turn that fire down. Cool. All right, fire's turned down. I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes. So don't forget. And I don't. I mean, I'm. There's so much in my head, and I'm not the only one. I know a lot of people, man. When you walk away from something, if you don't have somebody remind you, you're gonna forget, right? So. Um, Let's see. There's that sausage. Oh my god, my back. Oh, I can't bend over, guys. Oh. That weight belt. That weight belt driving down sometimes hurts. Alright, so 30 minutes, I come in and check it, stir it up. I'm gonna do that until 2.30. I have two hours they cook down. Parsley, onions, 30 minutes, cook down, fire off, hit the ocean, come out, move on to the next ocean. Jump in, come back. Oh, shit. We gotta make hamburgers. So I gotta wait for my wife to get back from the police station and the doctors, and then we'll make the hamburgers. And then that's it. Oh, I can see myself live on the TV right there. Wow. <laughs> I'm. So, oh my God. You guys, help me. I really. I came close last night to just turning social media off. I want to turn off my Facebook. I mean, I've got over 20,000 people on Instagram. And nobody checks in with me. I mean, maybe 50, 60 people. 
And Facebook got uh, 17,000. And nobody comes here from Facebook. Calls in, nothing. Uh, I don't know, man. YouTube is just is just not working out for me. I'm having fun with, with my TV right here, coming in, commenting, and saying hi. Uh, sometimes when I do a live on uh, YouTube, we'll have, I'll have the perfect timing. And some friends that I know will jump in from America. We had Washington and California jump in the other day. And there's some people on the island will say hi. I just miss all our friends, our uh, family up in Europe and Asia and Canada and all that. It's freaking COVID. Last night we had guests in here. It was really cool. And they found out about my uh, YouTube and what I do for uh, homeless people and stuff. So they was wanting to give me money for donations and I don't do that. I told them I don't like taking money. So I've never taken money here. My children, they pay my children or my wife. They, I, they, I don't I don't get involved with money. I just, it, to me, it's dirty. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to deal with it. I hate charging people. But, you know, we got to. So. I love giving stuff away. It's easier. It's better. It's more fun. It's more cleaner. So they, uh, they said they would go to my, there's a donation button on our YouTube that they, they would want. They, we told them if they want to, they can go to that, but we don't ask for donations, but we put a section there to where if people do want to do, do it, then that's, that's the way to do it. That way we have a record of it, so people can't accuse me of putting money in my pocket. My pockets are always empty. You ought to look at my wallet. Never keep money. If I, I don't want it, man. I got what I need. What I don't have, I just go out and get it. I was homeless, never asked for a thing, never asked anybody for food, a handout, nothing. God brought me what I needed. But I think you guys are bored enough, and I thank you for hanging in and watching. <laughs> I love you guys, I love you guys so much you just don't know. I never had people in my life like this before. So, it's, uh, it's new, it's strange, even though it's been going on for the last seven, eight years. It's still new to me, it's still strange to me to have people in my life that care about us, me and my family. So, but, like I said, we don't have much, but what we do have is yours. If we are not here for each other, then we are here for the wrong reason. That is my hashtag, and I believe in it. We should all be here for each other. We all have bad storms. We all have our ups and downs. Everybody. Rich people kill themselves all the time. Movie stars, musicians, they got everything, man. They, they kill themselves all the time. We all suffer. And, and in those, sometimes in those darkest moments, we have nobody to call. Even though people say, anytime. You know, I just like to always be there for people without them having to ask. I'm hoping to keep doing what I'm able to do in other countries, not just Taiwan, but Cambodia, Vietnam, Philippines, um, Thailand. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Let you go enjoy your day. I know you're blessing me and helping me out by trying to give me some watch time on this uh, YouTube. You have to take my channel and share it to your friends. Uh, watch some more videos in today. YouTube TV. Hey, you take care and have a great day. Uh, if you want to share the channel, uh, go watch some other movies or go like, 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 like. Just click like on all the movies, all the videos. We need it. We got a freaking headache. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. You guys take care. Enjoy your day. I'm going to go out watch for the video. I'm hoping to have a great day on the catch. I'll probably do it live if we get enough clams. Uh, then that's the shells, the uh, tita chop. If I get enough of them, we'll be in here boiling them and doing the tedious work of pulling the meat out. Take care. Talk to you soon.